Today's day is 4-12-2018. Time now is 1.58 p.m. Uh, present with me is Jonathan Robinson. Jonathan, what's your date of birth? 9-3-8-1. All right. Jonathan, I'm not trying to belittle you in any way, okay? You ask everybody these questions that come in here, okay? How far did you go in school? No. Did you graduate? No, sir. No? Are you under the influence of any alcohol or narcotics? I ain't gonna use that up, though. I was, I ain't use it up. I was, but I knew what I was doing. No, I'm saying are you high or drunk right now? I mean, can you complete a thought process right now? Yes, you sir. can? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know where we're at? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, can you read and write? Yes, sir. You read along with me, okay? Can you see that? Okay, you are you are hereby under arrest for your part in the offense of second degree murder. I hereby notify you have the right to remain silent. You're not required to make any statement unless you want to do so voluntarily. Anything you say shall be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to consult with your attorney and have him present with you. If you can't afford an attorney, he won't be appointed to represent you. While you're not required to make any statement, you may waive those rights just explained to you. And you were given the privilege of saying anything you want to about this case. Now, with this understanding, the way that those rights explained to you, do you wish to make a statement tell this happened? You do? Yes. Okay. And I think I need to be told first degree. Why? Because I planned that I knew what I was going to do. All right, we'll just start from the beginning. It's like, you know, when you just say your wife, you know your wife not strong. And you know, people mess with your wife because they know she's not mentally stable. Let's see, you There ain't no excuse for what I did, but I done hurt her so much. And, people, and, and I just got tired of people hurting her. She going through mental stages and it's like, and everybody laughing at her. And I got tired of it. I told him, I don't want to laugh at you no more. Cause I'm tired of hurting her. And ain't no excuse for what I did. I hate it, but man, I'm supposed to protect her. I'm supposed to protect her. That's my job, protect her. Hey. Tell me what you mean by that, though. Okay, man, the girl. We have dealings, but it's like a person know if you know what puts it, putting bird buttons and make them go over the edge and make them be suicidal and stuff, and you still do it. It's like you have no regard for her life. You know she'll go. You know she'll. Take all these drugs, you know she'll take all these pills and kill herself and you want to go on social media and bash her, make her look bad and just... I told her I'd never let nobody hurt her like that no more. I told her. No more. What happened today? I went to ask her, why did you keep doing it? I asked, I text her, I called why? Stop! She wouldn't stop. I told my girl, I said, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to take care of her because she hurt you. And I hurt you, but she said it won't let up and stop messing with you. But what happened, though? Shadow. Shadow. 
Okay, so you get to the house. What happens? I asked her why you steady messing with her. And I told her to go live and tell her. I told her to apologize to her. Apologize to who? My girl. Okay. I told her apologize to her. You always want to cry on the audience. You always want to famous now. Famous. Tell everybody you sorry. Stop with them. And what'd she say? She started apologizing. And then what happened? Just... What? Wait She was apologizing, you know. The police came. I don't know. I think I don't know if they were trying to sneak up on me or what. I just seen them by a truck, a red truck, and we start shooting. And it's like it. I start shooting. Then I, I shot her in the leg. I shot her in the leg. Then I shot her again somewhere else. Can't really remember. I just know. I don't. I know, but I can't just. I ain't. I know when the police. I seen the police by a red truck. I shot at them, and I turned around and shot her. Where did this happen at my house? Oh. No bedroom, no living room. I don't. How I don't. I was. I remember. I don't. You know, it was in the bedroom and the living room. The first room when you walk in, out the front door, that room and the bedroom. How did you see the police? I don't know. It's like when I was. I don't know what I was. I was gonna do something. I don't know. It's just like when I opened the door. It's just like I seen a red truck and I seen police and I just started shooting. I don't... What happened after that? After you shot the police, what happened after that? I think I shot him. I shot him. Where'd you shoot him at? I know in the leg, and I don't know well. I never seen no. I never really seen why I shot her. I just know I shot her something, but I seen blood. Did she say anything after that? <sighs> Alright, what happened after that? I just thought I shot at the police. From where? Right, tell me where you were shooting at the police at. Where were they at? Everywhere. I was shooting everywhere. What were you using? My SK. Right. How did you get to the house? In my car. Who was with you? You were by yourself? Alright, so when you get there in your car, where do you go? I kick a door in. Which door? Not the one I came out of, but the other one. In the front of the house? The left one or the right one? The right one. Okay. All right, so what happens when you go in the house? Who's in there? Her mama, 
her and I didn't know her brother was in there until she said, Marcy in the closet. And I told Marcy, come out. Did you shoot into the closet? No. I wasn't. No, it's just like, it wasn't about, it just was about a person hurting a person that I love dearly that I'm supposed to protect. All right, so, so when you go in the house, though, what do you see and where do you go and what happens? I go, I go in her room. Which one is that? That's the bedroom with the back door to it. Okay. I go in that room and I, I'm still excellent. Like, why is you steady doing it? Why is she like? So her mama come in there. I don't know what she said, but when she said something, I shot the gun. Cause she didn't see me come in there with the gun or nothing. I didn't even know she was in there. Mm -hmm. It's like when she came in, when, she, when I heard her say something, I just shot the gun. At her? No, I ain't never seen him. I just heard him. Her mama. Yeah, where'd you point the gun when you shot it? It was like, you know, I just had it pointed at a wall or something. Okay. In the bedroom? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I never seen it. I just heard him. I just heard him say, I'm going to call the police or something. I just shot the gun. I didn't know what she went or nothing. And I keep going from like... And I was asking her, why is you steady? Why are you steady? Bothering her, why is you, you know she a mental, you know her mental state is not strong like yours is. And she was like, I didn't know. I don't know if she thought I'd do it because of our history. But then too, because she like count herself, she was like, after she kept saying, and I'm like, you really don't care, though. She was like, seeing my eyes, something. She was like, Jonathan, are you for real? I'm like, yeah, man, you you, you hurting her. You just did it tearing her down. And I'm trying to build up, but you tearing her down, and it is affecting everybody, bro. And she was like, she was like, okay, okay, or something. And I'm, I know when I called, I had called my girl on the phone. And I told her she gonna apologize to you. And she was there saying, What were you talking about? You went live. What does that mean? Okay. I think this was Sunday or something. We went live. Okay, I went live on a Facebook man. But she went live. I went live. She went live. On Facebook. Talking about each other. She knows. I've been knowing her for probably five years. And she know the buttons. I don't know, man. No, man. Well, why were you shooting at the police? Oh, I wanted to die. Well, why'd you give up? Why'd you and those bullets. And Rico told me to. She was said what? Rico told me to. So Rico. Alright. When did y'all start dating? Rico, Renita who? Renita. 
been knowing her for about five years. Has it been an off and on relationship or what? Or what? She never just really. She never really been my girlfriend.